What's up guys, I'm Ace, and the DLC 4 trailer has just dropped for COD World War 2. This DLC is called Shadow War, and it looks like it's actually coming next Tuesday, the 28th, for PS4. Unfortunately for Xbox and PC users, we don't have a confirmed date yet, but it's going to be roughly 30 days later, which unfortunately is getting extremely close to the launch of Black Ops 4. In either case, we're going to go through the trailer, I'm going to discuss the different maps that we see. We see, once again, three multiplayer maps, one war map that has something very interesting in it that I want to talk about towards the end of the video here, and then a zombies experience, which, honestly, I'm just going to kind of gloss through the zombies experience because I'm not really a zombies player, and I don't really have much insight to offer there. So the first multiplayer map we have here is called Airship, and as you can see, it is a snowy mountaintop map, which I really like that style of map where it's nice and bright and clear, and players just pop up because of the contrast with the snow. I really, really like those style of maps. This definitely brings some vibes back of the Black Ops 1 map Summit, which is one of the fan favorites, although I will say the layout is probably not really even close to the same, but I do like the overall art style there. Next up is Excavation, and with this one they actually gave us a pretty good wide shot, so you can actually see some of the lanes and what they look like. So you actually can get a bit of an indication of what that looks like, and it does appear that it has some slightly longer lines of sight, at least in Call of Duty World War II terms. It seems like it's got a big open area, and then it also has the cave area, which is going to be slightly more close quarters, but this definitely appears to be more of an assault rifle or LMG style map. So finally for the regular multiplayer maps, we have Chancellery. Now Chancellery is set at night in a city, and from the looks of what we can see on the first wide angle shot, as well as a bunch of the clips, it kind of looks like the inverse of Market Garden. So with Market Garden, we've got spawns on outside areas and then a building in the middle and everybody fights within the building. Whereas Chancellery looks like it's two buildings on either end and a courtyard of some sort in between those buildings. Now, perhaps those buildings are connected, but it does seem like it's kind of the inverse of Market Garden. It's definitely got a very similar art style to Market Garden and also it is nighttime. So I think that definitely plays into it. But with this one, it looks like it's going to be a lot more close quarters, definitely shotgun and SMG dominated based on what we can see so far. So that's it for the regular multiplayer maps. Now let's get into the new war map. This one is called Operation Arcane. And unlike the previous war maps, which are generally based at least somewhat on a real life operation or real life event, this one looks to be a little bit more out there and kind of made up and also seems to kind of tie into zombies just a little bit. With this one, the allies are attacking a Nazi facility that seems to be doing some pretty crazy research. And there's some interesting stuff going on that we see towards the end of the clip. The first thing that we see that is very different for multiplayer is the players injecting himself with something green and glowing. If we take a freeze frame right here, it appears that gives you the ability to see enemy players' outlines through walls. Now this likely only applies to individual players, so it probably doesn't work for the whole team because you're actually actively injecting yourself with this. But it looks like you actually picked this up from a crate, like in previous maps like Operation Husky you would pick up tripwires or molotovs. This time though, it's definitely a little bit out there. And it also appears, if you look at that crate, there's more than just this ability. There's different colors of those that you can pick up, which presumably would give you different forms of abilities. The green one, like I said, appears to make it so you can see people through walls. And who knows what the other ones do? Maybe they'll allow you to move faster, or play an objective faster, or give you a faster rate of fire, or maybe even increase health or something like that. That's all just speculation. But it does look like there are different abilities available that you can pick up in this war mode. Now I'm really curious to see, is this just going to work for like the defenders and not the attackers, or how that's going to work? I kind of feel like that is going to be for the defenders only, but I'm not 100% sure on that, and we'll just have to find out once it comes out. A couple other interesting screenshots we took here. Looks like we see a doctor about to inject somebody with something. And then also right towards the end of this clip, a wonder weapon appears. And it looks kind of similar to the Tesla gun, but it's green, so it probably has a different effect. Some of the zombies guys out there might actually know what this is. I personally don't play zombies, so I have no idea. But it looks like there's actually going to be a wonder weapon in this war map, which normally I really like the fact that the war operations are actually at least loosely based on real life events. But for the final DLC, why not get out there and do something a little bit crazy? I'm interested to see how this all plays out. So that's it for the multiplayer. Now we have the zombies part, which I'm basically just going to let play in the background. I don't really have any insight whatsoever to offer here because I'm not a zombies player, like I've said. Basically, all I can tell you is this map is called Frozen Dawn. And it looks like there's a few new weapons in there, like the shield or that hammer that you can throw and then it comes back to you. As far as I'm aware, that's new, but I could be wrong on that. Now, one last thing to mention before we wrap this up is a cool feature that they're announcing for this. And this is called Party Up Map Access. With this, if you don't have DLC and you're playing with somebody that has the season pass for World War II, you will get access to the DLC 4 maps. 
Now, looking at the fine print, looks like this is likely going to last up until October 28th, although they did say at their discretion they can end it before then, or they could even continue it past then, we don't know for sure. But I think this is a really neat idea, where it gives somebody that doesn't have DLC the opportunity to try out some of the DLC just by partying up with somebody that has a season pass. This could also potentially have some implications in the future of Call of Duty, perhaps even for Black Ops 4. Maybe they'll try something similar with that, where if you play with somebody that has a Black Ops pass, maybe that will give you some sort of limited access to the maps. Of course, it wouldn't give you full access because then basically one person in a group of friends could buy the Black Ops Pass and just share it with everyone, essentially, as long as they're playing with them. But perhaps they're going to have a system in place where it'll give at least some sort of a limited access to players that don't have that Black Ops Pass. In either case, it's cool that they're trying something new, and I'm all for giving more access to DLC for people that don't have DLC. So that's great in my mind. We'll just have to wait and see how this one plays out. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. Of course, I'd like to know what you guys are thinking so far about the DLC pack, about the maps and the zombies experience, as well as those changes that look like they're coming to the war mode. And also, I'm interested to hear what you guys think about this party up map access. Do you like that idea of having limited access if you play with somebody that has a season pass? Or do you dislike it? Let me know those thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.